This video features an item available for pre-order or purchase at Big Bad Toy Store. Check out the link in this video's description to visit their website. Hey collectors, Anthony from Hatches Nut here, and today we're going to take a look at the Power Rangers Cross Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Part 2. There is a Part 1 which has uh, the other figures in the series. And of course this is from the Hasbro's Lightning Collection. Now it's based on the 2021 comic book crossover series from IDW, where the turtles end up gaining the Power Rangers abilities uh, to fight a dragon powered shredder. So don't go anywhere, we'll be right back with the figures. And you see before the Power Rangers Lightning Collection across the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. As I mentioned in part one, it was a comic book crossover that happened in 2020. It was a good comic book series, definitely worth picking up if you can get it in the, uh, the hardcover because I doubt the individual issues are still available. Now, uh, in addition to uh, Donatello, Leonardo, and the Shredder, I have brought along Lord Zed and the Ranger Slayer, just for size comparison, because they are in scale. And I am surprised that uh, Shredder is so big compared to Zed, but Shred Shredder's using the green power, maybe gets a buff, I don't know. I mean, just look at, the, look at how big like, Shredder is. Like, he makes Lord Zed seem like a weakling. I just, eh. Anyway, so as I've gone through the previous set and this set, as, as I mess with them, I've realized these guys don't stand up very well. And maybe it's probably because other people who are posing these things use stands or something. And um, back in the other days, they used to be, yeah, they still have the holes in the bottom for stands. But it does two things. First off, it annoys me a little bit. And the other thing is that it gives the manufacturers liberty not to balance the toys. So just like in the case of Transformers with huge backpacks, these turtles have huge backpacks, so it makes them weird to balance. Because they I have to lean them a little bit forward to get them to balance backwards. So at least for now, and you'll see the moment when I move the boxes to show the backs real quick, they're gonna fall backwards. Um, Leonardo might, Shredder might not. Uh, you know what? I, I I think I have a pretty good stud, but let's let's see if it happens. So let's get to the boxes first. We'll start with the shredders. Uh, oh well, okay. And it's simply a pose of him doing his shredder thing. Nothing fancy about it. There's some decoration on the sides, and uh, of course the front. So. That's that. Now, <laughs> he didn't fall over because of gravity. He fell over because I bonked him in the head. And then here is Leonardo and Donatello's box. And I think Leonardo is going to go full backwards. Yep. And the back has this nice uh, powered up pose with blast effects. Uh, Leonardo on this side. Donatello on this side. And then here are they in the front. I love the Ninja Turtles and... Um, I don't really collect avidly the Power Rangers. I, I think Draken and then a couple older figures is all that I had left. Uh, a number of years ago at a yard sale, my little brother, I wanted to sell the Power Rangers and he asked me for mine. So I let him take almost all of the ones I had and I kept uh, the Gold Ranger. I may have kept one other, I don't remember. I'd have to look in a box, I'm not doing that. Anyway, let's talk about these. First off, Shredder has a cloth cape. Now, the Ranger Slayer has a rubber plastic cape, uh, but when I got to shred, I'm like, okay, this is reminiscent of the classic Shredder action figure, which had a cloth cape. And uh, that is just fantastic. Now, the things that are, are of course, missing is, um, like the tur unlike the Turtles, uh, Shredder here doesn't have like a, a terrier head. So the head's it, that's it. He gets these claws, alternative fists, and of course, this is the right hand, and this is the left hand. And then he gets these effects that go onto the, the blades here. If I can figure out how to do it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's exactly it. Reminds me of Wolverine. There we go. Okay, that is cool. Looks like his powers. Reminds me of the final... Uh, season of the 2003 Ninja Turtles run uh, after they finished up the trilogy and everybody magic powers and stuff. 
or was that the end of the first of the three trilogies? Ah, I remember when they go in time and then they go back to the sewers. I forget where everything kind of just magics up. I, you know what? I think it was the first run. Anyway, uh, here's his butt. It is flat as hell. But I, I like the gold accents. Uh, the texturing here is, is pretty nice. Uh, so I, I don't hate it. Uh, he got the dragon zord. I don't know how well you can see this. An emblem on his, uh, his morpher, of course. And uh, pretty much, he's a nice cross between Shredder and Tommy. And of course, in the uh, comic book, he does summon the, the Green Dragon Zord. I want to see if I can... It, the feet are on uh, rockers and, and pilty things. and yeah. Anyway, so this is Leonardo. Uh, the one thing I realize is all of these figures' joints are super tight. Um... Which, uh, good thing or bad thing, it's just, I guess it keeps the pose in check. I don't know how long this tightness will stay, but I've also noticed that the Transformers coming out more recently have had this issue too. So, it, it may be just something shoring up on the QA side, you know, just to improve quality a little bit. I mean, to keep raising the prices, so something better improve. So, uh, I hate this part. I'm not going to play with the hands and taking them off and changing them. But I am going to try to change Leo's head here. And I wish there was like a release because what you're doing is putting this peg into this head. And uh, there we go. And at least for me, there's never like a good way to do it. There we go. And of course, Leo has the the Tyrannosaurus. Or not the Tyrannosaurus. Is it the Tyrannosaurus? What's Billy's Ranger again? Oh, I guess it is the Tyrannosaurus. I had to go look. I have... <laughs> Let me show you something. Oh, I have this guy. And, uh... <laughs> keep having to look over here and go, okay, what is what again? Yeah. So I'm going to put him back. And, uh, so... He uh, has holsters for his sword, which I really appreciate. Um, he's not any different than the other ones. There's no, like, extra texture or anything. There, I mean, it's a little bit around the edges here. Uh... The this piece is just like a little bit of a plastic, so I mean nothing too fancy about them. Just pretty cool to have. Again, this crossover. I'm gonna stick him leaning against the back here so he doesn't want to stand. Okay, so Donatello I think is the coolest looking one. I mean Raphael's my favorite guy, but come on, Don Donatello got like looks good in black, and. Um, it's just the, you know, I just realized half of this, this is painted, this isn't painted. Ooh, some QA, go, uh, quality assurance uh, issues going on here. But let's uh, throw his head on. Let's see if I can do it. Eh, maybe. Uh, he got that goofball looking look. It's a tech savvy Donatello. It's a more modern appearance. Of course, he has the mammoth. Actually, you can very clearly see the mammoth on this one. The last, um, on April, Michelangelo and Raphael, I could barely make out their their, uh, their um, emblems, but this time I can't. So, of course, he also has an axe, and then he has, like, a bow axe, which I think is really cool. And it goes into this kind of holster that I, I guess is specifically meant for this only, because this is the handle's too thick. And... Um, Blast effects. Uh, it has a blast effect. And let me see if I can figure out how it goes on. There is a peg for which this goes onto. Now I'm going to fight for it. Maybe it only works for the other one because this one's a funky, chunky boy. Oh, yeah, it only works for this one. That is cool looking though. Let's get that in his hand. Uh, let's see. Come on. There we go. There. He struck you down with the battle at, at bow axe. Oh. So. Yep.
So we see from Raphael, he has this blast effect that goes over the sword. It's very easy. He doesn't have to do anything with it. It just slides on. So I appreciate that. And it looks pretty good. The sword has a nice metallic effect. So these guys came with hands. Um, I, I feel like, I wonder if it's true. Yeah, they both have that hand. They both have that hand. They both have that hand. Okay, so all four turtles have the exact same kit of extra hands. Huh. I guess it's the way to, to cheapen up a little bit. So that was it for the Power Rangers Lightning Collection crossover with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And, I mean, I, I love the Ninja Turtles. I, I mean, because at the same time, like, I also got into Transformers. So those are the two things I primarily collect. And to drop in something from the 90s that I also enjoyed with my little brother really kind of brings it full circle for me. Now, these figures are back heavy, or the turtles are at least, and I, I don't know if it's just a lightning collection, but they all just seem a little bit difficult to stand. And then again, it could be the tables I use. Maybe my house is crooked, who knows? At any rate, definitely to me worth getting, and I'm happy that I have the entire set. Now, let me know if you picked any of these guys up and what do you think about them and leave it in a comment. Thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.